Heidi. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Servus! Hi, welcome back everybody to More mm. Tell Me Why. So I thought we're going straight to Tyler, but apparently we're having a lunch with Dee and where the hell was the break room again? Uh, somewhere... Ooh. What are you working on? I wanted to. Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. Mm. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do Is they? Is that the douchebag? No. Nope. I think that's the douchebag. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. <laughs> that looks delicious, to be honest. I can't imagine having my mugshot taken right here in front of everyone. Trust me, it'd be the least of your worries. Really? Okay, is, is that not how we got into break room? Was the break room on the first floor then? Oh no, here. Morning. Hello, Miss Ronan. Oh, what's up, Sir Grex? Hi. Hey, Grex. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Okay. Ooh. These look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. We cannot grab some, but I want some. It looks so delicious and I'm hungry. I should grab a bite after this. What do we have here? Oh, we did take a look at this. Okay, well, I guess then we're not having cobbler. Uh, anything new in here? We found a locker, a key for a locker, right? Are we... Oh. I love the smell of this soap. <laughs> I thought you loved the smell of dirty police clothing for a second. Thank God it's clean. We found a key, right? Are we gonna snoop around someone's locker eventually? Uh, upstairs, where the hell... There, okay. I just forgot where I came in. Nope, stairs are behind me. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Okay. Who is in there and what the hell are they doing? I think we're about to witness some. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I probably shouldn't eavesdrop, but... I want to see. No more snooping. Nine nine five. Mr. Griffin, can you confirm the reason for your visit to Yellow Cross? Just visiting family. My folks and younger brother live here. Do they? Whatever you know him. Works at the post office. Name's Danny. Uh, yes, I do. So you're here to visit family. And also to hunt Lucy, correct? You had a tag for up near Millie. Season's closed in most places around here. Lucky drop. Sure was. So that moose we found in your truck. You offered to that in your permit for me, did you? Of course I did. Unless some goddamn post. I don't believe this guy. I'm just trying to get all the facts. I really can't go until I drop. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. No more snooping. This is some bull. No, sir. The bull is in your I guess we kind of exposed some holes in their security. No, 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 no. Now look, officer. Chief. Chief Brown. It was not a mistake. Lapse in judgment. But uh, you're free to keep the meat if you want. And That's not the point! <laughs> Is that a bribe, sir? Look, you're already facing multiple misdemeanors here. 
permitting violation, unlawful possession of game. I'm pretty sure you want to add felony bribery to that list. Sorry. Should we go or should we snoop around a bit more? Uncle's in there. <laughs> He's really letting that guy have it. I, I do. I, uh... It's not only about culture and tradition, but also respect. That's why we have law. I got nothing but respect for the law. And that's why you broke it. Do you? What about respect for wildlife? Populations in your client out by Crystal, and you just pulled a bull of his prime right out. You're not going to take away your hunting license for years, Mr. Gershwin. Believe you me, this is just a misunderstanding. Sure. Okay. I better not be back this office again. For instance, not for feeding, not for littering, and definitely not for poking. Yes, sir. I mean it, Mr. Gershwin. He let him off the hook like that. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Okay, so let's see how he's doing. We can't talk to D. D, I got a present. Should we have snooped some more? I guess now they're done, right? What does it say here? I don't think we need to break into the archives again. I think Uncle Eddie's on our side now. Hopefully. Should we? Uncle's in there. No? <laughs> He's really letting that guy have it. They're done talking. Nobody's saying anything. <laughs> what else are we supposed to do here? We have Dee's gift to drop off, but like Dee's not talking to us. D I. Well, I guess maybe we're having Cobbler first? Break, break room was... How did I already forget what the break room was? This it's literally... This guy's first ticket. Just around Probably the corner. Probably his last either. Yeah, he seems to be a douchebag. I don't like him. I really don't like hunting as a sport. You don't just kill for sports. Take that. Hmm, dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. <laughs> Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling and... Oh boy, is he working hard. I don't want to interrupt Damn. you, but could you stop talking now? Sometimes I miss being 14. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! I mean, it's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Yep. What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. Oh. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> hey, Gregs. You got any vacation plans? Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Right, my sister that is. lives up that way. But oh. I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years. Oh, and wow. I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It it's probably our last cool. big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. That's a dedicated father. That's a lot of saving. Hey, Gregs. Let's ask about the crime. Maybe you know something <laughs> about that asshole. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. <laughs> the Flasher. Too serious, which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's like actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from 
God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> oh, we didn't eat it. <laughs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. What? And guess who it was? Who was it? Wait, what? Wait, huh? You know, the perp who's been going around stealing people's mail and I dumping know about their packages that. into the snow. Anyway, Dr. Torres caught him. She's got him locked in a cage in the back of her SUV. It was an Wait, animal. she's got him where now? It's a raccoon. <laughs> Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash <laughs> band of stowaway. <laughs> And this is how legends begin. Exactly. What? A anyway, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Oh. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's it's okay. Totally, I understand. Give her the gift. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little <sighs> something to make up for missing your birthday. I wonder it's how she not likes much, it. But... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? I'm straight back in the box. <laughs> how did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Can we eat that now, please? He oh, left. There go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but... Oh. Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at them all day. Well, he kind of didn't want to... We did what we had to, to get what we needed. He didn't really want to talk, so... All right, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time, and people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable, you're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, don't. If he goes down, don't. don't let him take you with him. Okay. I, I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Yeah, because she knows he did nothing, and like it was her, and everybody thinks he's a psycho deep down. That's nagging on her, I think. Ty, are you there? Tyler? Answer me, please. Fuck. Why is he ghosting me? I don't know. Does this thing have a max range? Please stop. Okay. Okay. I've been here before. This will pass. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? I stopped pressing A, by the way. See 
doing great, Elsa. Just a little longer. You're doing great, Allison. See? Just keep going. Yes, In exactly. And out. It's good she has an app for that on her phone. My heart beats slowing down. Simple exercise, but it helps. Hold on. So don't fuck this up. I don't want to be responsible. See, you're doing great. All better. Hopefully. I'm okay. Good girl. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um... I went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, the goblins. This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Was she there on the voice? Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. Why did he not suggest therapy? Like, if he had the money to pay for fireweed, maybe he could also have helped with therapy costs? Or is he one of I'm these sorry. old people that don't take mental illness as serious? This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. No need to. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? been so wrong about everything did Tyler say something to make you feel that way no it wasn't him it was me I failed him over and over from here it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him you don't understand Allie you've got so much weight on your shoulders with Tyler coming back. Shoes on the couch. Move. You know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. Because she killed fault. him. At her. That's not true. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. Is she gonna tell him? You Are we making her tell him? You every waking moment. Therapy. <laughs> Please. Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... It never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. I'm not sure if I should... I can't move on. 
Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. But I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that. Therapist. There's no shame in getting help. Yeah. Please. Just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Exhausted. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Definitely. <laughs> that's, that's good. Good to hear. Better. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. Should we poke a little bit? I want to poke a little bit. How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. Just a quick thought here, because I thought it was Sam maybe, but I think like the Mad Hunter or like the guy talking to... I think that's our father, I think, the one we saw in the last visions. And like, she was saying, like, if, she, if he's entering the property again, she's going to kill him. And I think Sam was there a lot, right, to help and stuff. So I'm kind of thinking he might can't be. Or is there something that I missed that he actually didn't come anymore until she died? And then afterwards, looking for the place? Looking out for the place? I don't know. I just wanted to get that out there. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. 